6.30 a.m. It's a new day, another chance to create something. But before diving into the world of CAD files and design calculations, I start my day with something far more grounding, a moment of prayer and Bible reading. It helps me set the right mindset for the day ahead. Then I get a good morning stretching because spending hours at a desk requires some flexibility. After brushing up and enjoying this beautiful view, I make myself a cup of my energy tea, a mix of ginger, garlic, lemon, honey, and sometimes beet juice. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but it keeps me sharp and ready to tackle the day. I start out the activities of the day by going to my journal to check out the tasks planned for the day and give them some order to be followed for that day. By 8 a.m., it's time to get to work. I kick off with yesterday's unfinished tasks. As a design engineer, a lot of what I do doesn't stop at creating designs. It's about revisiting, revising, and refining. Whether it's adjusting CAD models or running simulations, the goal is to ensure that everything meets both functional and structural standards. Sometimes, that means more than just drawing shapes on the screen. We are talking about doing detailed calculations to make sure the design won't fail under real-world conditions. Most days, by 10 a.m., it's time for meetings with clients. This is where things get clarified and where we connect the dots between ideas and real-world expectations. Clients often come in with specific requirements like how strong a material needs to be, the weight of the final product, or even the budget constraints. It's my job to interpret these specifications and make sure the design checks all the boxes. Sometimes they want something impossible, well, almost impossible, but that's where creative problem solving comes into play. Yes, so an extension at the back. By midday, after a couple of intense hours of design and discussions, it's time to pause. A quick lunch, a breath of fresh air, and a short stretch go a long way. You have to keep the mind and the body in sync. It's surely when you spend so much time focusing on tiny details. It's my recharge moment before diving back into the second half of the day. Yeah, recharging for me mostly involves me sticking my hand out of the window and trying to catch an out of focus view of the mountain. It's quite satisfying when it works though. Heavy clouds are gathering. I think it's gonna rain. This break is often followed by a team meeting. These aren't just regular check-ins. These are meetings where the real collaboration happens. My fellow engineers, designers, and sometimes even production experts come together to review designs. Everyone brings their expertise to the table. Whether it's a better material suggestion, a manufacturing insight, or even a potential flaw in the design, it's a collective effort to ensure what we are working on is not only functional, but also optimized for production. We get to have brainstorming sessions on whiteboard spaces like Figma, where every collaborator can present their ideas and add notes in real time for others to see. Most times it's quite exhausting as you have to listen to so many people while waiting for your turn. It's thus no surprise that after these meetings, I'm usually exhausted. I check my task schedule and if there is time to spare, I can give in to some distractions like checking out some social media posts or watching a short YouTube video. Sometimes the distraction comes in the form of a heavy downpour. I don't mind playing with the rain for a while before taking advantage of it to catch a quick nap after making sure there are no more meetings for the day, of course. By 3 p.m., it's time to return to the drawing board, literally. Thankfully, I returned from these naps quite energetic. Now it's time to execute the updates and adjustments discussed in the meetings of today. This involves more than just modifying card drawings. I need to run the numbers again, check if the design meets the required standards, and ensure everything fits together just right. It's not just about making something that looks good, but something that performs well under stress, heat, and any other challenges the design might face. By 5 p.m., if the design is finalized, the next step is prototyping. This is one of the most exciting parts of the job, turning the digital design into something physical. Most times, I use my laser engraver or I get some parts there in order to test certain concepts. By 6 p.m., I take a break from design and shift gears to check on my online presence. I hop onto LinkedIn 
or YouTube studio to see how my latest content is performing. Engaging with the community is kind of important, whether it's answering questions on a design post or seeing how my YouTube video is resonating with viewers. Plus, staying connected on social media is a great way to stay updated on industry trends in my field. And while I'm at it, I also check for messages and mails from potential clients and recruiters. On the topic of recruiters, there are some days where I'd have to take some pre-recorded digital interviews before carry on with my day. Sometimes it goes well, and other times, well, <laughs> you already know. As the day winds down, at about 7 p.m., I outline the tasks for the next day. This is my time to reflect on what I accomplished for this day and what still needs to be tackled. It helps me stay organized and ensures that I hit the ground running the next morning. There's always more work to do, but having a plan in place keeps things moving smoothly. At 8 p.m., work comes to an end. It's time to catch up with loved ones and ask how their days were. Scroll through funny videos on YouTube and just relax. So there you have it. From solving design problems to collaborating with clients and teams, it is all part of the journey. Being a design engineer isn't just about creating things, it's about making sure those things work, they last, and they add value. And honestly, that's what makes every day worth it. Thank you for sticking around to the end. See you on the next one. Bye bye.